Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Uh, if you remember from your civics class, the way that we amend the Constitution is a pretty arduous process. It requires a two-thirds majority of Congress. And then the amendment is then sent to the states, and two-thirds of the states have to approve it. It's a process that is designed to be difficult. In order to officially amend the Constitution, you need the overwhelming support of not just the majority of the people, but an overwhelming majority of the people. You need two-thirds of the states. But you don't really need to do all that to change the Constitution. We've seen an example of that recently. The Supreme Court is charged with interpreting the Constitution, <coughs> deciding what the Constitution means. And all you need is five votes out of nine in the court, and the Constitution is changed. It doesn't matter what's actually written in the document. The Supreme Court decides something, and that's the law of the land. We've already seen this happen, as I said. The Constitution assigns free speech rights to individuals, to citizens. It does not assign them to corporations. The word corporation, as a matter of fact, does not appear anywhere in the Constitution. But with the Citizens United decision, corporations were given First Amendment rights that the Founding Fathers never intended for them to have. And this was supplemented by, the court, by another court decision that said that money and speech were the same thing. A ridiculous decision. And this officially made it legal to bribe politicians. With the election of Donald Trump, those decisions will be enshrined in our political landscape forever. They will become a permanent part of the way things are done. That is a change in the Constitution without a constitutional amendment. But there we can look forward to other changes, too. Donald Trump and the Republican Party are extremely hostile towards the press. It is highly likely that Donald Trump will appoint judges to the Supreme Court who share those views. So freedom of the press is very likely to come under a severe assault in the next four years. Now, it's practically certain that gays are going to lose their right to marry. Women will lose their right to choose. And since Donald Trump is an unabashed racist and is surrounding himself with other racists, we could see a new era of Jim Crow. And you Second Amendment gun nuts people, if Donald Trump decides that your right to own a gun is a threat to him, he will come after your guns and the Supreme Court will support him because he's going to be putting the guys on it that will do that. So Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama would never have thought of coming after your guns despite all your hysteria. But if Donald Trump wants them, he will get them. The Constitution will not protect your rights, whether it's your First Amendment rights, your Second Amendment rights, or any other rights. It was up to you to defend them, and you decided not to on November 8th. Thanks for listening.